Uh, folks, welcome to our strength and conditioning class. All right, so we'll start with our warm up. So, looking left to right. And again, these recordings will always be posted on the front page. So, feel free to, you know, you can always do it, repeat the video again, or you can do something else. I'm going to try to upload uh, more videos or more workouts. So, you know, if you feel the urge to get another workout in sometime during the week, you could always have that option. So I'll be- Good morning. Good morning. Okay, let's go up and down. Next circles. A little chilly today. Six. All right, let's go ahead and reach over this pool. Okay, right, let's switch. And let's reach up towards the ceiling. Let's reach, reach, reach. And then right. Yes, keep stretching. It's going to check the pole. Remember, there is a pole, so. Right. I need everyone to participate on that pole, please. So. All right, let's go with trunk rotation. So. Well, actually, arm circles. Sorry. Let's reach reverse. Single arm circles. Reverse. Switch. Reverse. 
reverse. And very good. All right. Next we're going to go with front rotation. Now. So it's left to right. Go with half circles, so you're going to come across, come back, About three more on each side. Very good, All right? Giant hula hoops next. It's white stands. Let's go hula hoops. Bring your hips out as far out and wide as you can. Keep going. Bring those hips out. Switch directions. Let's keep going. All right, good morning, Karen. All right, so there's about eight of us in here right now. So I need everyone to participate on the poll. And you get a little chance, just go to your screen and participate. All right, very good. All right, we're going to do some hip openers. So again, just standing here, bring that that knee forward and then out, down. All right, find me a counter or a wall, bring in just some leg swings. I got a little handle here, just leg swings back and forth. All right, now face that counter or whatever you're holding on to, and we're going to swing across. All right, switch. All 
All right, very good. Awesome. Go with quad stretch. So grab a hold right up with your ankle and pull back. Back. Switch. All right, slide bend at the knees. Slide bend at the knees. Bring your hands, your hands on your shins. Go as far down as you can. Reach down towards your ankle, stretching out those hamstrings. Then we have a little slight bend at the knee. Reach a little bit more, make sure you're breathing. Bring those knees back. And slowly come back up. All right, and our last stretch is going to be our deep squat stretch. So just drop down, drop your hips below your knees, sit low. And this hip. Really stretching out your hip flexors. Keep your torso upright. It's a nice stretch for your chest and your back. All right, and let's rise. All right, very good. So there's a few of you that haven't um participated on the poll. So if you can, just take 10 seconds of your time for me and then just go on that poll just so we could get a more accurate, I guess, realistic feeling of how you guys are feeling. So, you know, the class, if you're feeling tired and you don't let me know, then, um, you know, it's, it's going to be tough when we have a hard workout. So just make sure you participate. Okay. All right. A couple of you guys are being shy, so I'm just going to end the poll then and then show you guys where we are. So everyone's kind of feeling like a, everywhere. So there's five options and we picked four out of the five options. So um, again, um, we'll just make sure everyone's kind of like, yeah, I feel a little bit better. You know, one of you guys is feeling great. Um, so yeah. So anyway, so yeah, we got a spectrum. So um, based on that, just depending on how you're feeling, if you feel like you're feeling really good and the workout's a little bit easy, then what I would recommend is during the rest recovery time, um, you can do some jumping jacks or you can do some burpees. Um, you can do some squat shuffles, but um, jumping jacks should do. Um, and if you are ready for a good workout, let's go ahead and, and kind of get this class started. So let me go ahead and share my screen. I'm just gonna go ahead and share um, as far as my, what we can expect for Canvas this week. Okay, so um, we'll just go over Canvas fairly quickly. Um, so again, so if you made it this far to this class, obviously you clicked on this link. Um, you could click on this link here to take you to module two. Um, I included this workout video on 
when was it? Maybe on Saturday. If you didn't get to it, I would recommend doing this workout video um, at some point this week. And then also try to get creative. So I started adding these little animations too. Um, if you weren't here last week, um, then here's last week's video. And again, um, I think what we're going to push for this term is going to be doing workouts with a variety of equipment. Okay. <laughs> Usually we just go with dumbbells um, or, and you know, our yoga mat. So I'm trying to find items that are affordable and cheap and, you know, we're going to get most bang for our buck. So dumbbells is definitely one of those. Um, I know I've see, seen a couple new faces today. So again, if you could get some dumbbells, get some cheap ones at Moras, Marshall, CJ Maxx, um, resistance bands. These we will start using a bit more. And then, um, so these are the ones with the handles. And I do recommend the ones that have the little um, apparatus where you could attach um, the door um, at the door just to make it a little bit more secure. And then these bands, um, these resistance bands, the loop bands, um, that's going to be, um, you know, for some floor exercises, mainly for our legs. Um, so pretty much how the workout's going to go, we're going to go with uh, body weight movements, okay? And then we'll transition to dumbbell movements. So movements with the dumbbells, after that, resistance bands, and then loop bands, okay? So um, if you have, you know, I think dumbbells are going to be a little bit easier accessible then uh, we'll start with that and you know as we're transitioning to the movements with the resistance bands um you could try to follow along with your dumbbells um if you're able to but there's going to be some movements that um you know it, it's definitely not going to work out the same because we need the resistance bands and um that's why um you know the links are there for you guys to purchase um these here are about 15 to 20 dollars um these here are anywhere between five to twelve dollars uh, for this set. So, and again, this is a whole set. So pretty, uh, like I said, pretty cheap for what you're getting. Anyway, so um, going to the fitness tracking, uh, we had our first week. Uh, we had six of you participate. I'd love to see um, all of you guys participating, um, people that um, aren't able to make it on class, um, you know, and you're just looking at this video at your own time. It'd be great if we could add your name on here. So, Again, kind of just put them in order of how many minutes we got this on week. Um, we got Miss Wynn with 604 and then just making our way down. So hopefully these numbers do start rising. Um, the minimum that I want to see, it's 140. That's the recommended um, for, you know, American Heart Association that we want for physical activity. Um, obviously, some of you guys are getting a lot more than that, which is great. Um, but I do want to see this um, spreadsheet continue to grow with more names. Okay, so if your name's not on there, um, let's start adding your activities. And the way you will do that is if you go to module two here, so we could just click to take us to module two. And we'll actually go through this um, Canvas um, module fairly quickly. So again, today, um, this week, recovery and nutrition and wellness. Um, if you're with me, last semester we covered uh, macronutrients and micronutrients on this um, module, and I added more videos to it. Okay, so um, there's a little bit more information than what we had on the last term. Okay, so there's more information on macronutrients. Um, Carmen, thanks already for completing that task. And usually when we do these videos, if you could just tell me if three things that you learned. Um, that'd be awesome. And you usually just do that by hitting reply and commenting. And I'll like your comment. And then for those of you guys that are trying to add, this is the section on micronutrients. So you guys could go ahead and complete that at your own time. Um, so this is where you would put your fitness tracking information, okay? So you would go in here, um, hit reply, and then you would put Hey, I walked 30 minutes. I walked my dog 20 minutes or, you know, I did gardening for an hour. Um, all that stuff is physical activity. So just make sure that you guys do, um, complete those tasks, you know, I say by the end of the week. So, and these are usually open from today. So from, you know, the stroke of midnight until Sundays, um, at midnight. So pretty much after that, it's kind of locked out for that week. So, all right. Any questions on that? Anyone? Okay. All right. We got Maria. We got Jean. We got Rebecca, Karen, Carmen, Ursula. 
Rebecca, I expect you on that list. You promised me you'll participate. So, um, and I expect everyone, hopefully everyone could um, put their names on that list. So again, you just go to the fitness tracking and hit reply. So, cool. All right, so with that being said, um, we'll start the workout. We'll start with just body weight uh, exercises. And then after that, like I said, dumbbells, then after that resistance bands. So does everyone have all the items with them? Dumbbells, resistance bands. You could just put a little thumb up. Got a shy class today. All right, Rebecca, Ms. Gwen, cool. All right, so you guys will get the full workout today, okay? So, get on it. Okay, so we're gonna go uh, full workout. We're gonna start off with just body weight. Okay, so we're gonna go for this one. We're gonna go ahead and start with our back, shoulders and back. So for this first exercise, I do need you guys to come up against the wall, find me an open wall. And then we're just gonna glide our hands up and down, okay? So I remember this workout that we're doing today, we could add it to the fitness tracking. So just make sure um, you guys do incorporate that. So let's go up and down. And of course, you always do use the yoga mat as well. So you just wanna get the most out of this class. Just glide those elbows up and down. All right, very good. Okay, we're gonna get a little bit of mobility on the shoulders and upper back, so elbows up here, go out. Trying to get a little warmer. All right, very good. All right, we're gonna do one of our easier um, chest exercises. And this one just requires a chair to sit on. You really don't need the chair. It's just for comfort. So we're gonna go ahead, bring our hands together and let's press them against each other as much as we can. Let's push those and then relax. So when you're pressing them, you should feel your pecs contracting and firming up. So let's continue that again. Relax. We're gonna do eight of these, okay? So each hold should be for about five seconds and then you just relax again. After this set, I gotta change my long sleeve shirt, something more comfy. Pretty cold about 20 minutes ago, and now it's warm. All right, very good. All right, awesome. Okay, next we're gonna go ahead and transition to our triceps okay so for this one if you have that chair nearby we're going to go ahead and do dips this is going to be a little demanding on your triceps which is the back part of your arms okay so for this one we're going to just come up arms are on the edge of the chair we're just going to dip down up Okay, if this is the new exercise for you and it feels challenging already, then you don't have to go as low, but maybe we could do a little bit of a movement. But um, anyhow, we want to do about 12 to 15 of these if you're able to, okay? And if for some reason this position seems a bit easy for you, you can make it more challenging by bringing your heels out.
Ooh. Very good. All right. And then some of you guys may have taken my cardio and core class in the past. And that's a class where we tend to sweat a lot. Um, your heart rate's up a little bit more. Um, the strength and conditioning classes that we have this term are a little bit slower paced, but they should be a little bit more demanding when it comes to strength, okay? So don't expect your heart rate to go through the roof. I mean, my heart, my heartbeat's beating quite fast right now. Um, but we'll try to incorporate some movements here and there, okay? And as always, um, you folks, if you guys, we'll probably have a poll too. If you guys, we could always, you know, go a little bit more on the cardio side. If you guys, you know, need a little break from the strength part, okay? So that's never a problem. So, all right, we're gonna rest our arms a little bit and we're gonna do a little bit of core, okay? So, all right, so for core, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a sliding sit up. So just here, sliding sit up, we're gonna go ahead and just slide our hands up from our thighs up towards our knees, then back. And we're just gonna continue that. We're going to do this for another 20 seconds. Three, two, one, time. All righty. Very good. Okay, so we'll still incorporate some core because you know we will um, do some strengthening components. So it's the cardio part. So like the jumping around, all of that stuff. You guys let me know if you guys want more of that. Okay. No. All right. Okay. Now we're gonna go ahead. We did our shoulders, our back, our chest, triceps. We're actually gonna work out our chest in a little bit again with push-ups. So now we're gonna do. These are called. Um, Donkey kicks. Okay, so we're going to be on our fours. Your knees right below your hips, your wrists right below your shoulders. And I'm going to go my right foot first and bring that up towards the ceiling. Most people have a tendency to kick back. Try to bring your heel towards the ceiling. Bring back down. about 12 to 15 of these, okay? So bring that heel as high as you can. Doing 12 to 15, we're gonna switch. Julio? Yes. Um, um, do you recommend ever using um like uh, ankle weights for this or can we use ankle weights yeah for? yeah so if you have ankle weights yeah that's definitely one that you could use um for those of you guys let me actually show you this little um variation that i learned uh, a couple years ago so yeah if you have ankle weights it's probably ideal for that one okay um, yeah so yeah, so what I would do too, if you have a very light dumbbell, we've done it in class before. Um, I would just put this, this is like a four pound dumbbell. Yeah. I put it behind my knee. I, I'd raise my heel. So raising my heel is gonna keep it locked in place. And then I could kind of bring it up too. So that will keep it in place. So if you have dumbbells, uh, you could try this one if it seems too easy, but yeah, ankle weights would work. Um, and then Rebecca, ankle weights would also work like if we do Jane Fonda's. So like when we do these here, um, that ankle weights would be really good for that one because usually like, you know, I've done it where I could put the weight here on my side. Mm -hmm. You don't feel it as much. But when you put that ankle weight by your, you know, it's far from, from the joint that you're really moving, um, you're going to feel it a lot more. So, um, and we'll be doing Jane Fonda's actually next. So let's go ahead. And now 
the camera is like really up on my face. But now let's go ahead and do our other side. So now I'm going to do my left side. Very good. All right, let's rest our arms a little bit because even though we're not really moving our arms, just keeping us in place will um, fatigue them. So, so yeah, if you have your ankle weights, you could use it on this next one. So we're gonna do Jane Fonda's, okay? So Jane Fonda's works on our adductors. So we're just here on our side. Okay. Um, if you have a dumbbell, you can always hold it here. Um, and also, if you have the loop bands, um, you know, if you do have the loop bands too, you can always put those loop bands, um, you know, just below your knees, a little bit higher. The high, the closer that band is to your hips, the easier it's going to be. If you have it closer to your ankles, it's going to be really challenging. Okay, so um, if you don't have any loop bands, then you're just going to go up. And then control it on the way down. Make sure your feet don't touch. You go back up. Now, if you have a loop and and ankle weights, and that's that's a real challenge there. We're gonna do twelve of these, okay? This is working now. That um, lateral side of your glutes. And also your adductor, so that hip joint, I know where it comes in. So if you're ever doing core, um, when we raise our legs, almost like the leg hold or like scissor kicks, sometimes um, bicycle crunches, if that really irritates, um, if those are really cha challenging, it's very likely that your, your groin, your hip flexors are really tight. So we're going to make sure that we stretch those out. Okay. And that deep squat stretch that we do is a really good one for that. We'll do some other stretches um, at the end of class when we cool down as well. And just switching sides. So again, 12 to 15. How heavy are your ankle weights, Rebecca? They're only like, let me see, they are, I think they're like two or three pounds. They're not a lot. Yeah. No, that's, that's like a perfect size too. So it yeah. makes them way more challenging. I'm like yeah. kind of mad that I, no, it's good. It's good. Good. <laughs> All right. And remember folks, you guys could always play your music at home. Um, like I said, I've tried it in the past here and it just didn't work out. Either people wouldn't hear the music or people wouldn't hear me, or maybe just my taste in music was terrible. Um, but yeah, so feel free to um, play some music while you're at home so it's not too quiet. All right. And then um, now we're going to go ahead and do push ups. Okay. So find yourself a nice spot. Okay. So I'm going to be here. And remember, push ups, you can do regular push ups. You're on your feet, or you could do knee assisted pushups where you're here and you're just going down. So the goal is to do 12 to 15 push-ups, okay? You guys are ready. There you go. Very good. Woo. Okay. All right. And the thing with 
Oh, actually, yeah. Stay on the floor. You guys are good on the floor. We're going to do our Superman. So that's going to be for our lower back. Okay. It's part of our core. So we'll do Superman next. Right here on the floor. And go chest up, knees up. We're going to hold for 40 seconds. Ready? So it's going to be something like this. 40 seconds. There you go. Thirty seconds, fifty seconds. And time. All right. Yep. Last one that we're going to do here, it's going to be bunny hops. Okay, so this is a little bit of cardio, um, but actually we could avoid the bunny hops. Sometimes that can be too explosive. So we're going to do heel raises. So you're just going to go hold, hold up and back down. So when you hold, try to hold for about two seconds before you drop your heels again. And this one, we're going to do 20 of them, okay? After we're done here, I'm just gonna run inside real quick and switch my shirt. Getting a little warm for me. More from them. We can just keep those heels elevated and then back down. All right, very good. All right, so give yourself a little water break. You use the restroom, get some water, we'll regroup in two minutes. All right, just catch your breath.
Right. Okay. Uh, is, so now we're going to move on to our dumbbells. Okay. We know most of my returners, you guys have your dumbbells already. So, oh, before we, uh, it's actually before we start the dumbbells. Oh, we did push up already. That's the one that I was um, trying to see. Okay, so if we have our dumbbells, let's go ahead and grab those. Okay, so we can actually do some of the beginning ones on our chair. Okay, so grab those dumbbells. Door open will help. We'll go ahead and do shoulder press. Okay, so shoulder press. We don't want to be completely back. We're going to be a little bit forward. Go up. up. We're going to do a burnout. Okay, so we're pretty much going until our arms feel like spaghettis. Okay, so this really weak. So again, um, and we're doing burnouts because maybe you don't have a dumbbell that's too heavy, okay? So if I tell you to do 10, 10 might feel really easy. Or maybe you have a dumbbell that's really heavy, and if I tell you to do 10, you can only do four. Okay, so you're just gonna keep going until those arms start to feel like they're about to fall down. Okay, so when they feel really weak, Give me like three or four more past that point, okay? I know some people that they just keep on going and they don't start counting until it starts feeling heavy. Woo, and that's it for me. Have some 10 pounders. I think I did close to 15. Definitely get some water. So some of these, as, as the movement's getting more demanding, I sometimes take one minute, sometimes even two minutes if I'm really exhausted by that movement. So um, like I said, it's it's not the cardio class. So our main um, concern right now is not really to um, get our heart rate up. It's just to really fatigue those muscles. So if they're really fatigued, the idea is that you know when they recover, you know, afterwards when you're resting, when you eat, uh, you know, a pretty decent protein meal, um, you know, when it's rebuilding, it's going to be stronger. So that's what we want. So. Okay. Right. Okay. So now we're going to do hammer curls. Hammer curls, you could do them. Standing or sitting, I just like, when, whenever I'm working out a, a muscle group, um, you know, I like just isolating that muscle group. So I'm just worried about that movement um, and that muscle. So if I'm standing, sometimes I'm, I'm a little bit concerned of where my feet are, um, the positioning of my, of, yeah, of my feet. Sometimes if my arch, if my lower back has a little arch, sometimes um, that heavy weight could irritate my back. That's why I like isolating just my arms for this one. So I isolate them by sitting down. So I'm not worrying about all that other stuff. Okay, so hammer curls, we're here. So pretty much my palms are next to my side. So or my palms would be facing each other. Okay, so I'm gonna curl up here, and back down. And make sure it's a full extension. So you come up and you go all the way down. Okay, until your arms are straight. Yeah, we're going to do a burnout. Remember, every muscle is different in size, length. So if you do maybe 15 shoulder press with your dumbbell, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to do 15 hammers either, OK? Curl up. 
again, and if you feel like your weight is too light, then yeah, you might have to make another trip to the store and get something a little bit heavier. That's it for me. I had a shoulder workout yesterday, so I'm feeling it a little bit more too. Um, and then again, if you guys don't um, want to invest too much into weight, um, you know, something you could use, especially for like squats, could be, uh, you know, if you have some milk jugs or some water gallons, um, just that they have the handles. You could always carry one on one arm, and if you could do curls with that, that works. If you, it's probably a little bit easier to do squats with those. Okay, so. All right, next one that we're gonna do is gonna be a door opener, okay? So that's gonna work on the lateral head. Um, like I said, we're gonna, some of you guys don't have the resistance band, so I'm just gonna do as many exercises with the dumbbells that we could get through, and then um, we'll move on to resistance bands, okay? So um, door openers are a little bit more demanding because they use this, remember, if you're working out smaller muscles, it's gonna be a little bit tougher to work out that muscle group with heavy weights. So if you have a lighter weight, maybe um, get those. So I'm gonna grab some five pounders. I got this nice, um, this nice set of dumbbells from Costco about three years ago. Um, and it's from five pounds all the way to 30 pounds. So it's a little on the pricier side, but I mean, back then you couldn't find weights, but it was probably about $230 or so. Um, so yeah, but I have my dumbbell here at my side. I'm just gonna bring it to towards my chest, then back out. So you see how my elbow's just right at my side. So here. So you could feel probably on this side, you should feel that tenderness. Okay. Remember, you could rest a little bit more if you need to. Okay. Well, we just worked out this arm on its own, so left arm should be a little ready to go. Yeah, another item that I've seen often at Ross, Marshalls, um, you know, it's TJ Maxx, also um, kettlebells. If you have, you know, if you see one of those kettlebells, um, it's really good for joint mobility. So I like those a lot. And you can do a lot of squats with that too. So those tends to be the, the items that are cheaper uh, compared to other designs. And I think just because they might not sell as much because it's such a weird looking object. All right. Um, very good. We'll kind of take a little break right now from our arms. And we'll do that by doing our curve form and stretch. Okay, so we're gonna move on to our lower body soon. So I just wanna make sure that our legs are fresh. So this is one of my favorite stretches, kind of stretches out the curve form is, which you know, a tendon, our, uh, our sciatic nerve um, runs through that. So if your performance is pretty tight, then you, you know, you might think that you have a lower back pain, but it might just be that that nerve is being pinched by the performance. So you just wanna make sure that we keep that um, tendon a little bit um, loose. And it also feels good. So we'll push down. And let's bring that knee up. And we'll switch.
first down. This is one of those um, stretches that earlier in the morning, um, it will feel a little bit more um, tight, a little bit more challenging to do. So later in the day, as you warm up a little bit more, um, those muscles should get a little bit warmer and stretch a little bit more. And then we're going to bring that knee up. Those yeah, so if you tend to exercise in the morning and the evening and you feel like you always feel better in the evening, uh, like you're if you go for a walk and you're always faster in the evening, it's for that reason that your uh, muscles are a little bit more warm. So you're probably gonna get more quality. As far as effort, effort might be the same on both days or both times. But as far as, you know, comparing um, performance or times, you're probably gonna get a better um, time in the evening just because your muscles have warmed up, okay? So, okay, so we did our shoulder press. Oh, no, fast. Um, so we did our shoulder press, we did our bicep curls. Now we're gonna do tricep extensions, okay? So maybe you do that, you can still use your chair. Okay, you're gonna be rested here. Arm is up to your side, elbows up, and then you're just gonna extend back. Okay, so that elbow doesn't move. You see how my elbow just kind of stays glued to my side. We're gonna switch. All right, for that group that has resistance bands. We're gonna do squats with them. Um, I know we'll we'll be doing other exercises um, afterwards, but I just wanna do squats. So those of you guys that have dumbbells, what I'm gonna ask you to do is have those dumbbells at your side. And you're pretty much gonna do squats in this manner. You can keep those dumbbells at your side too here. Just go up and down or just keep them right above your shoulders, okay? And then those of you guys that don't have any equipment right now, you can just do air squats. The air spots would just be here. Okay, so this is all variations. And if you do have the resistance band, it's almost going to feel more like a deadlift. Okay, this one is. So, all right. I know it has handles. Necessarily, you don't have to use the handles for every exercise. So for this one, what I'm going to do is probably hold, you know, a couple inches below the handles. So, lower it a little bit. So, again, handles are here, the attachments. I'm going to hold a couple inches. Uh, internet went off. I'm sorry? I missed part because my internet oh. went off. Okay. Yeah. So, we're doing I'm squats. No worries. So, we're doing squats. And if you have resistance bands, um, go ahead and bring them. If you don't, if you have your dumbbells, then dumbbells will work. Just keep the dumbbells at your side or on your shoulders. But um, resistance bands, we're going to squat down. Hold the bands where there's resistance. And we're pretty much going to come up and control it. And if that's too easy, then just kind of crawl 
your hands a little bit further down on the bands. Up until you're fully stretched. Go down. Okay, so everyone give me at least 12 to 15 squats, air squats, dumbbell squats, or resistance band squats, okay? Go here. Whoa. And I'm just standing on those bands. And again, it might feel more like a deadlift. So obviously, we're pulling from the floor up. We're not pushing from our knees up. We're pulling. Sometimes you'll hear people talk about like a push pull workout. So if you have the resistance bands here, most of the time you're doing pulling. Oh. I usually exhale my way up and go on the way down. Ooh. Okay. Very good. All right, we're going to go back to that chair and our dumbbell. Resistance bands, you can find the link on Canvas to purchase those. Um, the cheaper ones, like the ones that I have, are probably about $15 for the set. And it's a nice little set. Um, the thing is, I would use them so often, I would use them maybe four, four, four or five times a week. Um, after a while, there used to be a red band, that red band snapped. And it um, whipped me on my back when it snapped. So I had to upgrade. So I just used those, you know, more for demos. Uh, not mainly, not so much for my own workouts just because I've had an accident with them. But I bought a better, a way better set for $5 more or $7 more. It was $22. And that, that set has been, I mean, it's, it's really sturdy. So um, just keep that in mind. So, all right. We're going to go ahead, same position as tricep extensions. We're just going to go here and then just come up all the way down. Remember, this is going to feel easier than the tricep extension. And that's because tricep extension, we're just using the little tricep muscle behind our arm. And it's little compared in size to our back. So our back is a lot bigger. That's why this movement here feels so much easier. Again, but you want to do it correctly though. You want to make sure that that dumbbell goes all the way up, down, go up. Once you've done enough, you feel a nice stretch in your back. You're gonna switch. I'm good with about 15 of those. So. Cool. All righty. So the last one we're gonna do with our dumbbells right now is gonna be step ups, okay? So step ups is one that, you know, um, I only want you to do 
if you're comfortable with your balance and if you have maybe a nice solid like rigid step um you know i i use a chair for myself just because i trust my chair and i also trust my balance and i've done these for so long that i i know the the form but um again if this movement seems like a little bit too much or it's a little bit intimidating um then what i would recommend is doing it on a step maybe if you have a step in the front of your house you could just jog on over there right now and do these um or you could just skip these and instead what you could do you could do um jumping squats okay but how this movement looks you're pretty much stepping here so imagine this is my step but this is my chair coming up and then i'm just switching alternating legs okay and this is a good one for your glutes okay so we're trying to work on the glutes this is one so let's go ahead and do 10 on each side so again if that chair that you have in front of you is too high then maybe you have a step leading to your backyard maybe leading to your front um, door or maybe if you have a two-story house maybe just a step inside your house could work okay I know there's, um, I've had some clients use their little stool, their little kitchen stool to like reach a, a cabinet that's a little bit higher up. Um, you know, anything that's solid and rigid, that's not gonna move too much, um, should do it, okay? I just don't want you to do something that's gonna move as you're stepping on it. Definitely don't do it on a, you know, on a chair with wheels. Don't do these either if you have a really bad ankle or if your ankle's a little bit tender. Again, that's gonna mess up your balance. All right. Okay, and that's one that you could also, we didn't do it this time around. We haven't done, done, done them in a while, but that's one that you could also use with your dumbbells at your side, okay? So you, you would just grab your dumbbells. Got my little dumbbells here. And you would just begin. And if you have really good balance, you could sometimes lift your knee up up top. So that's just another way to do that. Okay. Alrighty. So now if what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna um, do our exercises with for our <laughs> so what I want you to do, and if you don't have resistance bands with you right now i still want you to uh, pay attention and stick around because i want you guys to to get at least familiar with the movement so you guys know what to do when you guys do get those items okay so again this is the nice set that i was talking about so um i don't know if you can see the difference in quality but this was like the 15 dollars set this one was um the 22 dollars set so you can see the bands are a little bit thicker here and that's because they also provide more resistance. You can see the stitching on the nicer set or the pricier set. It's a little bit better than this one here, the stitching is. And then the, the handles, it's a little bit thicker, has a nice little texture for grip. This one's a little bit more basic. Uh, and then again, this one has five bands. This one here has four bands. And again, that's because the red bands doesn't exist anymore. So, and usually they'll tell you the, the weight of each band, there's a little label that'll tell you how much each band provides as far as resistance, okay? So I'm not gonna use my older ones for this demonstration. I'm gonna go ahead and use my uh, newer set, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and do that for one second. And then also, both of those items come with this little knob, okay? So this thing, you, it has this loop. You kind of just put your bands through there. And then there's this little floppy, little thicker end. So how this works is, you know, you're gonna have your door open. You're gonna put this on the top side of your door on the side, and you're gonna make sure it's on the other end, okay? Then you're gonna shut your door if it's a door that's going to open in the same direction that you're pulling, I do recommend that you secure it and lock it. 
Um, but ideally it would be on the other end, okay? So if you're opening the door this way, then you wanna be on the opposite side um, to pull on it, if that makes sense. So again, if it opens this way and you're doing a pull that's this way, it's it, if that door is not secure, it's gonna open up. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so I'll show you guys here how to kind of do it. Maybe go. So, okay. All desk. Don't mind my garage. <laughs> it is being used like a garage job. Okay, so if you guys could kind of see. That's the top of the door. So again, this little floppy end, if I'm doing, uh, you know, let's say I'm gonna put it on this back side, okay? I'm gonna put it here. And then, oh. there you go. So I'm gonna lock it. I'm gonna make sure that that door's secure. So what I, I could do now in this position, Okay, so I'm here, I have my handles. What I could do is I could do rows. Okay, so I could go ahead and do rows. Of course, make sure it's locked. You don't want that door to swing wide open. And make sure that it's completely locked. You have a deadbolt. Now that deadbolt is going to keep it more secure. And I can come down here. Here, I'm gonna go ahead and do this movement. Okay. Right now, almost just demonstrating what we could do with it. If you're able to manage to get this ready, this setup ready, then go ahead and do that. Okay. All right. So what that's gonna simulate is gonna be our rows. Okay. So the thing with our rows is that you know sometimes our weight is too light. So it's gonna seem like we're gonna do maybe 80 of them until we get tired, okay? But with this one, you attach more bands. You know, this band here is just dangling because um, it's too heavy. If I put that band onto what I have right now, it's gonna to be too heavy and I won't be able to move it. So I'm just gonna put the amount of bands that I feel is appropriate for this movement. And again, so if we're doing seated rows here, thumbs up, come up. And the neat part is that right here with the handles, I can have my thumbs up and it's gonna work the center part of my back, okay? So that's one movement. Now, if I turn my hands, my fingers from up to facing each other, and now I'm going this way, that's gonna work out on the outside part of my back. So that's already two different exercises. It seems like you're doing the same thing, but the thumbs up, it's gonna work down your spine. So it's gonna have that little like, nice um, curvature into your spine. And if you go thumbs towards each other, that's gonna make your back, um, you know, a little bit more defined on the outside. So, you know, if you feel like maybe you're a little bit soft on the outside part, you want those thumbs up, I mean, thumbs to the side. And then if you want that kind of nice line down your back, then you want thumbs up, okay? So another one, again, this is from this angle, would be, um, and see, for this one, it might be too heavy for me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove maybe most of these. Let me just remove most of these here. Most of these bands. And you just unclip them. It's pretty easy. Uh, you, you'll you'll kind of see it when, when you purchase them. Okay, so you'll see them there. Then I'm just gonna unclip maybe. And it'll, like I said, it'll tell you right there on the band or you could just match the colors. The only thing that's a little bit annoying about this um, this nicer set is that the colors are very, <laughs> like pretty much the same. It's like from a dark gray to a light gray. So you kind of have to like, you know, make sure that you have the right bands when you're setting your workout up, so. Okay. Sorry if this is taking a little bit longer just to demonstrate, but, um, Again, I just wanna make sure that we're doing it correctly. So again, so I have my handle here. So I just, instead of, I detach the other handle. So I just loop the same band back to the same handle, okay? So this is gonna be a shoulder pull down. So we're used to doing these here, right? So with our dumbbells, we do these all the time. Okay, so now 
if you're trying to work out this muscle group here, this is how you do it. So you attach it here, then you come down and back. So now instead of feeling resistance on the way up, you're going to feel resistance on the way down. That's really going to feel that side a little bit more. Okay. Now, if you're trying to work out your chest, what you could do as well is this is a chest fly. Okay, so that's one for the elbow. Again, you would just switch sides and go here. I mean, for the shoulder, not the elbow. Okay. Oh, there's one for your back too. That's really great. So the one that I would do for, for my back is same idea, but just to, for the sake of time, um, I'm just going to do it from this angle. But typically for this next one, you would attach the, the door hinge at the top of the door. And this one, you're be on the floor here. I usually don't do it by the handle because again, it's, it's too much slack. So I just grab the band a little bit higher and then I just bring that elbow to my side. And just go here. And just pull. And again, you could bring your elbows to your side if you want more of that midline. Or if you want that, a nicer outside back, then you just bring that elbow out. Okay. There's this all other, again, some of these are better from the top. There's this core one where you just here. You're here. You're gonna just come down, then up. So that's for core. Just pull, kind of bring the band towards your 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 belly, your hip. So you're here, pulling. <sighs> and go back. So that's working on your core as well. Okay. So. Right. So again, so next time when we have, um, you know, our workout for this type of resistance bands, just make sure that you're prepared uh, with what door you're going to use or what door frame you're going to use. And then also uh, just make sure that, you know, that the door is secure and it's not going to open. There's a lot of flimsy doors out there. I know I have like two of those on my house where, um, you know, sometimes with like the gusts of wind, the gusts of wind will open um, the door. You know, if you know what I'm talking about, uh, you know, so you don't want to do it on the door like that because if you have this attached to that, that door, that um, resistance band is going to be coming back to you. Okay. So, and this is one of my favorite ones here. Oh, let me move that. Camera angle. Just getting to see everything here in my garage. This is one that I really enjoy. Uh, this is called the, the fly. So we've done flies on the floor. So this one, you would have the dumbbells here or the handles. You come up a bit, and you come up here. Go back. Okay. And see when we do these on the floor, your elbows get stuck at a certain spot because that's where the floor is. But with this one, you could come up a little bit further. Then you could go a little bit further back. Squeeze. Again. So those of you guys that have the dumbbells, let's get on the floor and do dumbbell flies. Those of you guys that have the resistance bands, try to set it up in this manner right now. So just on the side of the door, I'll give you guys a little bit of time to set that up. And again, if you don't have resistance bands, let's get on the floor with the dumbbells. We're gonna do four dumbbell flies from the floor, okay? Then Ms. Wynn, Rebecca, did you guys, do you guys have your setup? Yes, and I try it, and it's really nice. Okay, good. You can see the, the, the strengthening and the um, the strength, so it's good. Oh, you got your loop bands? Okay. Sorry, Rebecca, I think you're muted right now. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I have these. I got them, I guess, for squats, or I do other stuff, but I, I didn't know. 
So the other ones I have to order, the ones with the handle. Yeah, yeah. So these, you could do a lot. I have a pair of those. And I think the ones that you have are actually nicer than mine because um, the ones I've had, I've used so much. But um, those are great for like squats, um, Jane Fonda's, bridges. So, so yeah, a lot of like lower hip stuff. So cool. All right. But, but did you put the link to yours on the on your um, page, the ones that you got? Yeah, 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 yeah. So they're, they're on there. Yeah. It, okay. Okay. But it's the dumbbell, and then it's these. And again, the red ones, the ones that um, are a variety of like bright colors, they're like $15. I bought those. If you're only going to use them, I'd say like two or three times a week, you're okay with those. But if you feel like you're going to be a little bit more active with it, I would get maybe the ones that I have now. And those are, um, you know, maybe the ones that are like $5 more. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sounds Thank right. you. Yep, of course. So yeah, so let's go ahead and get on the floor and do those flies. Miss Wynn, if you have this set up, you can go ahead and do it. So again, let's come up here, squeeze, go back. And again, don't forget to add this to the fitness tracking today. So I should have nine names in there by the end of this class. And then also with this, this one, we're doing flies, you could also do a press. So if you're here, you could go press. So this would be like doing a dumbbell press or a barbell press. All right, very good. All right, if you have, so Ms. Glenn, you could use um, these um, shoulder um, pull downs. So these, you'd be here, arms straight, and you just pull your arms to your side, okay? So again, you guys that have dumbbells, I want you to do the shoulder raises. Okay, so you've done shoulder raises. And then Ms. Glenn, now I want you to hold the resistance bands, the handles, and bring them down to your side. Okay, so you guys are dumbbells, you guys go up, then it's when you go down, okay? All right, you should feel that on the shoulder. So again, if you feel like you need to do more things, then resistance bands will kind of do the opposite of what the dumbbell will do. So go ahead and do those. Give me about 15 of those. All right, and then to finish off, let's go ahead and grab those um, loop bands. You guys have those loop bands? I know Rebecca, you just showed me your. Um, so Rebecca has a nice set. I went with the cheaper route. Again, I don't use these as much because I'm fortunate to have um, this set up here at home. I have this squat rack. This, you know, this giant. I'm able to do that. But when I'm on the road or when I have um, clients that don't have equipment like this at their house, because most people don't, um, I use these resistance bands. So this one came in a set of five. Um, I don't know where my green and my yellow one is. And you could kind of see how um, dingy my red one looks already. You could see all the wrinkles on it. I've had this one for about maybe two and a half years, right at the start of COVID. And then my blue and my black bands are a lot more solid. You can see that, especially the black one. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and use my beat up red one. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do, for this one, you could just start by doing Jane Fonda's. At first, I know we've done them already, but just to demonstrate. So let's just do five. Again, resistance bands are there. Go up. 
And again, you just, you're going to feel that a lot more. You don't have as much range of motion as, you know, if you're doing it with like your ankle weights. But the thing with these is that they're going to be pulling on you. So, you know, on your way down, if you slid down, you should have some contractions there. So, and we'll switch. So up. Very good. Okay. You might not feel it. I don't know how um, heavy your band is, um, Rebecca, but if it's too light, um, you might not feel it so much for this next one. So usually for this one, I would go with the heavier band. So I might go with the black band for this one. And again, you just kind of put your feet through it. And for this one, we're going to do bridges. So I'm just going to put them right above my knees. So what I'm going to do is on my way up, I'm going to bring my hips up. You see how my hips are here? And then when I'm up there, I want to separate my feet. Okay, so from this angle, the bands are right here. I don't know if you guys can see the band. Pretty much right there. I'm going to go up. And then I'm going to separate. You see how my knees separate? And then back and down. So up, separate back and down. Okay, you're going to do eight of these. All right, cool. Yeah, so like I said, the light band wouldn't do anything for me because it wouldn't really, it would stretch too much that it wouldn't really work out. Um, so yeah, I don't know where I left my green and my yellow one at. So. I'm glad tomorrow is a day off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, it's a lot. Thank you, but, thank you, thank yeah, you. <laughs> yes, yeah, so, so we'll cool down now. So, um, but yeah, you guys could see how much more you could do with resistance bands. And um, I like how, how much, like I said, how much bang you get for your buck. So it's a lot more exercises. You get more pull movement. Um, and like I said, it might cost you the same as like, you know, um, two eight pound dumbbells. Because sometimes it costs, you know, two eight pound dumbbells might cost you $25 or something. So let's go ahead and bring the left heel in. Right leg back. And forward. Again, yeah, we're kind of just stretching now. So again, all the links for the bands are in the front. And don't feel obligated to use those links. Um, like I said, sometimes you might get lucky at Target, at Ross, Marshalls. I've seen more stuff at Marshalls than Ross or at TJ Maxx too. Um, sometimes Home Goods. But um, yeah, you might get lucky at Target. I know there's play against sports. That's another one. I know I've had some clients find some, you know, pretty cheap um, dumbbells there. So you could go on offer up. Okay. This is a good time because of the, after the summer, then they put sales on. Yeah. Discounts. Well, everyone's done getting their summer body, you know? So um, there's a lot of discounts with that. Um, you know, yeah, you're right. I I buy my my sweatshirts in the summer when they're cheaper, and then I buy my summer clothes in the winter when it's cheaper. So go ahead, bring that arm leg across. Come over.
Switch. Let's do figure four. Let's go in, right leg out. Switch. Both heels in. So to bring your knees down. If you guys could just do me a favor before we sign off and then just um, go on your fitness tracker. You could give yourself 90 minutes for today. You could just put, um, Strength and conditioning class, 90 minutes, and then it'll be on the board. So, we have Rebecca, Jean, Karen, Maria, Rosanna added to the Carmen, and Miss Lynn, you guys are there already. So. All right, so yeah, so before you guys say goodbye to me, please do me that favor. Um, go back to your canvas, go to module two, and then the tab that says fitness tracking number two, just go to the very bottom of it. And then where it says reply, just click reply. And then just put strength and conditioning dash 90 minutes. I'm going to go check right now. So let's see. Five minutes. <laughs> yeah, 90 minutes right there. So I'm going to.